it's Jessica Goose here with RealAgriculture.com at the Egg in Motion show outside of Langham, Saskatchewan. And joining me right now is Philip Korzak, who is one of the regional sales managers with Vatterstead. Philip, how are you doing today? Doing well, thanks. Good. It is a great day to be out here. And we're talking about this partnership uh, right behind you. And that is of the Tempo TPL 24 and the Seedhawk 660 Air Tank. Uh, tell me all about this and why this is going to be something uh, farmers are going to want to use in the future. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Jessica. Uh, what we are doing here is we are mating a temple planter, which we've had for several years, uh, that we're using for canola. One of the main reasons farmers are interested in it for canola is that we're going to take and we're going to cut your seed, uh, seed savings essentially for that unit pretty realistically uh, by two pounds to the acre, if not more. We're having a lot of success seeding that canola accurately and individually. And we've had the planter, but usually when I talk to a farmer about it, one of the questions that he always asks is, well, how do I do my fertilizer delivery? because farmers are so used to doing a one pass fertilizer delivery with the systems that are out there. Mm -hmm. So what we did this past spring is we took an existing seed hawk tank, in this case a 660 bushel toll between tank, and we paired it up now with the Temple planter for our bulk fertilizer delivery in one pass. Wow, and so that obviously means that less time having to fill that guy up again. Absolutely, yeah. Customers were, customers were concerned that uh, they want to be able to do everything in one pass like they've always done, and also the fill times in between are still at an acceptable level that they're not stopping very often. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about, I guess, uh, kind of saving on the seed because of that. Yeah, so we're accurately placing the seed down with a planter style that is individually taking each canola seed and placing it accurately in the, accurately in the soil. So by doing that, we can target a plant population as opposed to just the pounds per acre of canola seed that most customers are used to putting in the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing that it does is uh, the mortality rates generally are significantly lower because it's not traveling through an air system anymore and it doesn't have the ability to potentially crack or uh, not be placed at the proper seed depth. So the percentage of germination on each individual seed should be higher ultimately. Mm -hmm. And so, full disclosure, you can't, as a farmer, get this partnership just yet because there's still some trials going on. But what have you been hearing uh, from farmers this, uh, this past spring? Farmers are very interested in this pairing. Uh, we had two of these units uh, in the field this spring. We did approximately 6,000 acres. Most of it was canola. We did some corn. We did some hemp seed as well. And farmers are asking for this. They're very interested in it. And uh, we'll be doing some more trials coming this this coming spring, uh, we don't have a release date for it yet, but based on what customers are telling us, they want to see this in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. And but, but to be clear though, is that you can still get the uh, Seedhawk 660, 660 uh, air tank by itself, or you can get the Tempo TPL 24 by itself. It's just not that partnership together. Uh, but good news for farmers in Western Canada, you guys are accepting uh, some trial applications? Absolutely, we're interested to hear from the farmers. Are you, uh, are you, would you like to sign up essentially for a demo for next spring? Uh, that you want to see it on your own field, on your own farm, so that they can evaluate it on their own on their own trials because it's one thing to see it at a demonstration but to have it at your own field is something different as well yeah no kidding and i'll be sure to uh to link that to those that are listening on our podcast at realagriculture.com thank you so much philip for your time thanks jessica